right now, breaking news on News Channel 8. Good evening, I'm Stacy Scheibel. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. A gut-wrenching tragedy for Pasco County families tonight. To say the least, two homes literally swallowed up by a giant sinkhole, and this thing is still growing. Here's a closer look, in fact, a live look from Eagle 8 HD of what the sinkhole looks like right now. It's like a big old muddy bowl of soup where debris is all over the place. This is in Lando Lakes. It's on Ocean Pine Drive. You can see those two homes that should be right there, no longer there. They're gone. The sinkhole then grew a little larger, taking out a road. And right now, this thing is still inching closer to a third home that you see in this picture. Boy, and what an incredible moment right there, and what a sickening one for the owners of these homes. That was video of the very moment the first home collapsed into the sinkhole. And it just got worse from there as even more of the home collapsed into the hole. And we have team coverage of this breaking story tonight. News Channel 8's Paul Mueller and Corey Davis, both working on the story all day long from that neighborhood. We're going to start tonight with Paul. Well, land here on that road you just mentioned just simply gave way. Take a look at that, the devastation that it left in its wake. A look at the devastation from Drone 8. Debris is everywhere, and along with it, people's belongings covered in mud. It is the aftermath of when the ground gave way. This was that same house just a short time before, and then everything just came crashing down. Just the magnitude of how fast that hole opened up in that first hour and a half was, was, like I said, those crews were just in awe. Within minutes of that first 911 call, just before 7.30 Friday morning, first responders went door to door while the sinkhole kept moving at lightning speed. It grew by probably 50 to 100 feet just in a matter of about an hour. With two homes destroyed, nine others then evacuated, crews set up a two to 300 foot perimeter, telling residents they should voluntarily leave their homes, but there's no home left. For at least two families. There's no house now left. <laughs> well, we still have, but we don't even know if it's gonna last. And when you first got here and saw the house, your immediate reaction? We lost everything. There's, I mean, where we go? Now they're not sure where they'll go, while crews are left in the same place, one step behind. We have no control over Mother Nature. We have to let her do her thing, and when she's done being mad at us, we'll go in there and mitigate it. So what happens next, you might be asking. That is what I asked Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nago. He tells me it is going to be a 24-7 operation. How long? No one really knows. Paul, you have been out there since early this morning. Let's talk a little bit about the speed of that sinkhole as it collapsed and the houses went in. At first thing this morning, it, it was really kind of moving rapidly within hours. Then it really slowed down. Where does it stand now? Well, if it keeps on going, it could, and again, to emphasize the word could, merge with one of the two nearby lakes. And if that happens, they have a lot more trouble on their hands out here. All right, Paul Mueller live. Thank you for your hard work out there today. I mean, we're looking at this thing. It's hard to believe what we're seeing. Imagine, though, for the families who just lost everything to wrap their heads around what happened this morning. A teenage girl who watched her bedroom crumble away will never forget that moment. Let's go to News Channel 8's Corey Davis. He is joining us live from the scene as well. And, and this whole family is starting over. You have two homes. I mean, everything that was inside is now underground, Corey. Keith, good evening to you. That family has a lot of work to do. They went to sleep peacefully last night, woke up to chaos this morning as their home crumbled into that sinkhole. Um, their house is, like, destroyed. Everything's destroyed. Nothing's left. Thalia Chapman watched in disbelief, recording as a massive sinkhole overtook her neighbor's home. Started collapsing on their side, and then their boat sink and then their boat was like um, next to ours so ours started falling and within 15 minutes that sinkhole grew look closely to the right that's Thalia's bedroom disappearing into the hole like my room and my cousin's room and like half of it's like falling down so we couldn't get anything we only could get the dogs and the family it all just happened so fast. The 15-year-old tells us everyone made it out, her relatives and six dogs, their clothes, family pictures, everything else, gone. We came and then we got evacuated, like, immediately. This is an emotional time for Thalia, moving here from Cuba when she was five, 
This is the only house she ever knew. Her first home in America is no more. But she's okay. She has family and guidance. We feel safe and generous of the policemen because we wouldn't know what to do. Back live here. Thankfully, Thalia's family will have a place to stay with a relative tonight. As for the rest of her neighbors along this street here, we're told that they also have somewhere to go. Well, I guess the good news from all of this, if you can find the silver lining here, Corey, is that no one is injured, no one is, is deceased from this. It could have been so much worse, as we've seen in the past. These things can happen. It's just always shocking when we see it uh, play out. Corey Davis, thank you for your report. We have continuing coverage of this story on the News Channel 8 app and on WFLA.com, including a look at how sinkholes form, as well as the warning signs and five things to do before you buy a home in Florida.